Our topic was internal and external attribution. Our skit follows two interactions between a professor and a student, one highlighting internal attribution and the other highlighting external attribution. Enjoy. All right, class, today we're gonna to be talking about internal and external attributions. I'm sorry I'm late, professor. Ugh, oh, this kid doesn't care about my class at all. All right, class, today we're gonna to be talking about internal and external attributions. I'm sorry I'm late, professor. I hope everything is all right. There was a ton of accidents on the way here. Maybe you got stuck in traffic. The lesson here is that we truly don't know what's going on with somebody unless they tell us. In the first example, the professor used his internal attribution and he completely ignored any factors that could have contributed to the student being late. But in the external attribution example, the professor took into account that there was traffic and that also could have prompted the student to not show up on time. The main difference between the two is that in internal, we look at the person's character, whereas in external, we look at all the surrounding factors that go into a person's behavior. In order for us to be better communicators, it's important for us to not jump to the conclusions that our mind likes to do sometimes. It's easy to think that somebody just doesn't want to be somewhere or they're a jerk for not saying this or not saying that. We don't have all the answers unless we're them and it's important to ask. So make sure if you're in a situation in which you don't know all the information, try to use your external attribution before you have all the details.